Hello there, folks. My name is Walt, and welcome to Lie Eat 2, The Lie Eating Dragon, and the Azure Dream Eater. So, we've got the Lie Eating Dragon. We're going to get a Dream Eater. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited. As you all know, we played Lie Eat 1, and we really all enjoyed it. I think we all enjoyed it. I know some people did. Oh, once upon a time, there was a fluffy white sheep. The sheep fed on nightmares, so it lived off the nightmares of the humans around it. Sounds like a nice sheep. Very nice. But one day, the sheep grew tired of the taste of nightmares. Just then, it saw a girl having a wonderful, happy dream. Oh, that's bad. The sheep secretly ate her happy dream. It was delighted by the taste. But the girl whose dream was stolen became little more than an empty shell. The, the end! Oh shit! Oh shit! A freaking main character and Effie have got to get all up in this. And I've totally forgotten the name of our main character. I apologize. What was I born for? Why can't I eat people's dreams? Is it okay? Is it okay to just eat them? I better go to bed. Let it be known, folks, if you have a horrible light, life or death thought to yourself, by God, nap it off. That's a little big on me. Well, shouldn't matter. Hey, can we really just take those? That guy was just sleeping. Sure I can. I mean, I left him my clothes, didn't I? And I blew near all our money on your new clothes. Well, okay, but those clothes... Didn't they get really stinky when you fell on that horse stuff last town? Can't complain when it's on the house. Hmm. Oh, a badge? What's that? These are what guards wear. You're telling me that dumb looking doofus was a guard? A guard from a pleasure resort. Herod! Close, but no cigar. It says Harold. So Harold will be my name here. Holla? How works. That's probably easier for you to remember. So, okay, it's, uh, no, I was wrong then. It's not that I forgot our main character's name, it's that I didn't know our main character's name. Shut up. It, our main character's named Hal. Gotcha! Splish splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> That was totally my thumbnail just now. I, I don't know if it'll fit, but goddamn it if it will, if I make it. I wonder if they'll recognize me by face. I did try and mimic his hair. If we're lucky, we might even get to stay the night in this resort. But any hitches and we'll make our getaway, got it? What kind of place is it? It's got fun and games. Fun games, hooray! Don't get too wild now. Okay, I need to search stuff, cause we need to find and this is going to make the game take forever, but by God, if I don't want to search everything just to uh, make sure, like, I get the freaking uh, legendary stuff because, like, goddamn, that was, like, really lucky for me to find that before, but, oh my God, I totally want to search everything I can, and it looks like this place is going to have a ton of stuff. Oh no, I'm going to take forever. I'm going to take forever doing this, but I gotta... I gotta, it feels so right to do this. Oh, I gotta search. I gotta look for hidden stuffs. Gotta look for hidden stuffs. And I mean, I'm only looking for one hidden stuff, so it's fine. Welcome to Azura Town. This is our prized resort, but only authorized personnel are allowed inside currently. So who are you? Name yourself. Y yes, number 3-055, Harold Radford, reporting for duty. Number 3-055, Harold Radford. This must be the new guard that was to start today, brother. Aha! I totally mixed up their voices. Harold, how old are you? 18, sir. I see. If I might say, your eyes seem so mature for a man your age. Good eyes. Eyes that have stared down death and made it out alive. But still, no alcohol. That'll get you fired on the spot. Hmm, who's that child? Effie! I'm Papa's! This is my little sister, Afina. Ah, you don't look anything alike, though. We don't look alike either, so we shouldn't speak ill of these siblings, now should we? In what way do you not look alike? Is it alright if I ask you something? Certainly! Would it be possible for us to lodge a while at the resort? 
Hmm, perhaps it's best you ask the manager. Have you some need? Actually, we're looking for our mother. Our dad's already passed away, so we're left home without hesitation and we're now traveling to find mom. But we need money for that, so I just have to keep taking brief jobs like this. I see. It would be perhaps too costly to go to, the, to an inn in both time and money terms. What a thoughtful youth. Personally, yes, I would gladly accept. I firmly believe that the manager will allow it as well. Thank you so much. If anything should come up, come up. Feel free to count on us. I'm the elder brother, Tom. I'm the younger brother, Mars. Okay, thank you again. May happiness come your way. All right, nice guys, nice guys. You're 18, Papa? No, that's streaking age. Found the guy's age along with this, his badge. Oh, and those dogs could talk. That's so cool. They're not dogs, they're humans. Ah! People used to have all kinds of categories and races depending on how you looked. But now we just call everyone here. That, if you're gonna take anything from this video, that, right there. You read that line. I'm not gonna read that line. You need to read that, I will read that line, but you should read that line out loud yourself. But now we just call everyone humans. Take that away from this video. To everyone, everyone needs to take that because that's important. But what's different between those guys and dogs? People walk on two legs and talk. Anything else is an animal. About the only creatures that look human but aren't are called these days are dragons. What's the difference between dragons and humans? That's a good question. I guess that dragons can use magic and people can't. People can't eat lies or be immortal or pass through walls and flowers. And a human's head doesn't sp spit fire when they're half asleep. Does Effie do that? Let's look for the manager. Forget to ask, forgot to ask what they even look like, huh? Alright, oh my god, this is gonna be horrible. I have to look through everything. Alright, well, that, that was very quick, but I can appreciate that. Alright, I don't care about anything else. Oh, what the hell? Why are our levels reset? Annoying. That's annoying. It's very annoying. Alright. Lots of books. I don't care to look through stuff. I found what I was looking for. So you know what? I'm perfectly fine. Let's see. What's in here? It is a ooh, bar and playing cards. I guess I can't interact with those. I guess we need to find the manager. So let's go find the manager, everyone. So let's see now. Pool hall. No go. So. Ah, perhaps it's the big. Do oh no, this is the church. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, I guess upstairs. Oh, guest rooms maybe? Uh, a little bit, yep. Let's see. Oh, hello. Might I ask who you are? Oh, do we have customers? This isn't a place for games. Whoa, look at the size of those. Pardon me, I'm Harold, and I'll be working here as a guard for a little while. I was looking for someone, the manager. But you see, since I'm new, I'm not sure what kind of person I'm looking for. Oh, is that right? The manager is a woman with bandages around her face. I think you'll know her right away once you see her. I see. Thank you very much. I heard this new guard was a younger kid, but you look pretty mature. It's an honor to hear you say so, miss. <laughs> She went out a bit ago, so she might not be back quite yet. She's never gone long, so perhaps you'll bump into her if you just walk around. I must mention, we do have a lot of strange guests, but good luck with the job. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. So what happens if Harold just shows up looking for his uniform? I guess it would have... Okay, I guess two beds, so I imagine that's where we'll be staying if I ever need to know. So, I don't think going to church. I think it's gotta be around here. Let's see. Nope. Okay, never mind. There are a lot of places with two beds. I guess we're just gonna... Hello? Something? Oh, maybe now that I've talked to her, maybe she's, like, now in one of the three rooms I've looked in. Because I think now we've, like, searched all the rooms in this place. Which, got, I gotta admit, makes this a much smaller place than the town was. Oh, there's... Okay. I, I thought that looked like a door, but... It seems to be locked. Not exactly a fan of a locked door. It means that I must go exploring and find a key. I can always go looking for a key though. Hello? Oh, eh? Visitors? 
Still getting ready here. Sorry to intrude. I'm Harold, and I'll be working here as a secure as a guard briefly. Hmm, Harold. Oh right, gotcha. I heard about you. If you want the manager, she should be back soon. What's the manager like? The manager's real sour, but she's got a good ass and them legs. You wanna? Whoa, another one. Didn't see you there, Shorty. And I'm sure surprised to see you've got a kid. You knew I wasn't Harold from the beginning, didn't you? Yeah, cause I'm a friend of his. Of course, he's a loser and an awful drunk, so truth is I hate his guts. Yeah, never really a good combination. Don't worry, I won't tell no one. Heck, I'm thankful you're here instead of that jerk. But maybe it'll be trouble. You, I know, I'll make a prank call. <laughs> You're just like hell! Say what, Runt? How's this guy like me? Huh? You are! Hey, patched up guy! List your three favorite things. Oh, my name's Lucas, and I guess I like... Beer, money, and women. See? The same! No way. This guy's a womanizer. Me? I'm what you call a gentleman. Tip! <laughs> That's so bad and dumb. <laughs> Alright. Got that backwards, bud. You picking a fight? They're exactly alike. Maybe it doesn't mean they can get along. Hey, Mr. Lucas, what else do you like? Oh, well, given the job I do, I like seeing people be happy in fun-filled places like this. What the- <laughs> You lying bastard! <laughs> what the heck's that? You lied. Get on it, Runt. Enough with the Runt stuff! Call me Effie! It's my name! Alright, let's do it. Hey! Bam! Dude, my, my knife, 500 damage. Nice. I like how apparently Hal can attack lies, even though Effie's the only one who should be able to touch them. So, this girl can make lies manifest and eat them. You told a lie, so it appeared as a monster. So, you actually hate seeing people happy? Hmm, I see. Not so much hate, I just don't care. I gotta admit, people's sorrows seem a bit more on the interesting side to me. What a weirdo. Hey, look who's talking. I'd say the same of you. Would other people's misfortune actually make actually make equally happy things happen to me? Sounds like a pretty lousy thing to do. I- you know what? I'm gonna try that again. I apologize. Sounds like a pretty lousy way of thinking. Hate it. Boy, you're weird. But when Hal gets sad, it makes me sad too. Seriously? Then you're a weirdo, too. Oh, so we're all weirdos, then! Hooray! <laughs> so, is the teeny one a dragon or something? Whoa, correct- Effie? Yeah, well, we sort of got one of our own. A dragon, you mean? Well, it's a kid the manager picked up somewhere a couple months ago. He eats dreams or something. And only dragons can do that kind of magic stuff, right? Of course, never seen it myself, and the manager says he's he's a human, not a dragon. A dream-eating dragon. The cops never got on your case for hauling a dragon round. Hey, not like we're doing anything wrong. I only take her along because she's unruly and she does weird stuff. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, dang. I gotta clean up before I get in trouble again. Alright, beat it, guys. Manager's gonna be back by now. Yeah, good luck. I don't need a guy like you cheering me on. I like this guy. I like the Lucas guy. He's fun. Maybe that intel was, that there was a dragon in town was right. Finding info this time? Yep, info on dragons sells well. Plus, we might even learn a thing or two about you. Really? Really? What's got you so happy? Wonder if that manager's back. Let's look around some more. Alright, you know, we've hit the 15... Oh, actually, no. I'm looking at the timer for the audio instead of the video, so, like, I didn't... Oh, you know what? Fuck it. It's close enough. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this first part of Lie Eat 2. I know I did. I had a lot of fun with it. Lucas was fun, and I found the legendary weapons, like, first episode. That's awesome. Alright, I'll catch you all next time. Later. I never figured out why I do that. I don't know, it just feels right.